Welcome to the office of Congresswoman Eleanor Holmes Norton. The first thing you'll see when you come into my office is that although my 700,000 Americans who live in the nation's capital are number one per capita in taxes paid to support the government of the United States, they don't have the final vote on the House floor. So there's an array of literature. Here are two members of our fire department. One lives in Washington, one lives in Maryland. They both save lives, but one has no representation on the House floor and no senators. When I was Human Rights Commissioner of New York City uh, and was sworn in, there I am with Coretta Scott King and Shirley Chisholm. This is the storied Dunbar High School where so many famous African Americans graduated. I was one of the last graduates to graduate from the segregated uh, school. The pictures on the wall are pictures I chose of old DC. Uh, this is when the district was trying to get home rule. For 150 years, uh, the district was run by the Congress of the United States, had no mayor and no city council. And this is a woman telling the truth that DC was the last colony, and in some ways it still is because it does not have senators and full representation. This one is uh, especially dear to me. It was given to me by the DC Fire Department. This man, Richard Holmes, is my grandfather. Richard Holmes entered the DC Fire Department in 1902. He was the son of a runaway slave, Richard Holmes. When youngsters come to visit my office, I show them this picture, particularly since it's a picture of bison in back of the White House because Teddy Roosevelt couldn't bear to leave his bison at home. So we say they must have kept the grass cut. I was recently on the Colbert sh Show. I was often on the Colbert Show before he had the Colbert Show, when he would make fun of the district for not having the vote. Then congratulations on becoming a state. Mm, not quite. No, you, you have to be a state to have a representative in, in Congress. It's in the Constitution, ma'am. You, you can't know, just make you, this up as you go. You, you know, you, you may have been born in the District of Columbia. You must, must have been schooled elsewhere. Maybe in South in Carolina America, or something. In America, in the United State. States of America, ma'am. He gave me this vote when he moved up. I think about uh, that, uh, that uh, part of my life when I see that afro because I had that afro when I represented the women at Newsweek and was very pregnant.